We're here in Bamberg, a city in Germany that's best known for beer, and we're gonna do a little beer tour to see what there is to drink here in Bamberg. But what beer tour wouldn't be complete without food? And of course, friends. Which is why Ben and Camille from Near From Home are joining us on this Bomberg beer and food tour. So, let's get going. First up, a famous Bomberg breakfast. We're here at Cafe Hunde and we ordered the Bomberger croissant, which is 20% butter. And that, according to German law, it must be made from pure butter. So, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not gonna lie, it just tastes like a regular croissant to me. <laughs> but it is really good and delicious. Maybe a little bit more buttery. I don't see anything like super different. You see the inside is nice and flaky like a regular croissant. So if you're in Bomberg, then I would definitely recommend trying it. It's a local thing to eat here and I don't know, it's pretty good. So we just popped into the tourist information office here in Bomberg, and because beer is the biggest thing to do here in Bomberg, we actually bought vouchers for the beer trail. So the package comes with four vouchers for four different beers that you can use at any of the breweries here in town, and one for a special smoked chocolate thing that will that I'll be interested to try since unfortunately being pregnant, I can't have any of the beers. And when we're all done, you get a Stein from Bomberg with a special wooden cover, all for 28 euros. A really cool fact about Bomberg and Upper Franconia is that it has the most number of breweries per capita in the world. There are over 200 breweries that serve over 1,000 types of beer. And now, on to our first beer. So we're at Ambrosianum Brewery. I got a Hellas, and it's one of our first beer vouchers here in Bomberg. We're gonna try it out. That's crisp, smooth, refreshing, definitely a beer to crush on a hot summer day like today. So, I don't know, it's the perfect way to start here in Bomberg before we get to the smoked beers. I definitely recommend getting it, but they do charge you if you're gonna drink outside five euros for a fond. So make sure to hold on to your chip and turn that in when you leave. Unless, of course, you want the glass. And why not get a cold, refreshing Radler while you're here? Let's see how it tastes though, huh? It's just so incredibly refreshing. I love a good Radler. I usually don't get them. I go for a full Hellas, but I'm always glad when I do. Being out here on the street is so lively. Everyone's having a great time, and it's nice to be out here with them. I couldn't ask for a more beautiful and lively backdrop. Cheers. All right, let's see how it tastes. That is really good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I love super lemony Rattlers, and this is about as lemony as I've ever tasted. <laughs> Are we sure there's any beer in there? Mm, maybe not, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> now we're gonna head into Brauerei Spezial right behind me here. It's not as famous as the Schlenkerla Brewery here in Bamberg, but it does have a famous smoked beer, a Rauch beer, that we're gonna try, so let's head in. <laughs> and we got the Rauch beer, which is the smoked beer. Unfortunately, I can't drink it, but I would love to smell it. Okay, so it reminds me of almost these like barbecue potato chips or something. Um, but yeah, very smoky and I'm excited to see what Mike has to say about it. I'm very excited. I've never had a smoked beer before, but I can get the barbecue potato chips a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. That's good. It's not overly smoky where you get like, there's an aftertaste. I just felt it come out of my nose there. It is like a campfire. You get a little bit of bacon, maybe almost like a smoked ham, but it's not super strong going down, but the flavor stays in your mouth and definitely came out of my nose. So I've drank a lot of Hellas on this channel so far, but I have never had a smoked beer before. I mean, it is a specialty of Bamberg, and this is my first time here. It smells exactly like a barbecue. It's not exactly what my nose is expecting, but 
It's not bad, it's just different. Let's give it a taste. That is incredibly different. The smokiness, it's not as strong as I expected it to be. Instead, it's more of a aftertaste. It just stays in your mouth afterwards. Feels like you've been sitting around a campfire, breathing it in. But the taste itself still has a real nice crispness that you would expect from a Bavarian lager. I could drink another one of these. Now, before we get to the food at Spezial, why the heck is smoke beer even a thing? So here in Bamberg, Rauch beer is the most famous and Rauch beer means smoke beer in English. That's because they take the barley and roast it over a beech wood fire and giving it that unique smoky taste. Now there are actually two tales about why they use this specific brewing process here in Bamberg. The first is that a brewer had a fire breakout in his brewery. It actually roasted and in a way infected all of the malt but people really liked that unique smoky taste, so he just kept making it that way and tradition stuck and now that's why it's popular here. The second is a little bit more technical and that's that green malt needs to germinate before it can actually be crushed and used in the brewing process. So in a warmer climate, they use it where they put it out in the sun, it dries out naturally, but here in Germany, the climate is a little bit wetter and colder. So they weren't able to simply dry the malt outside and they had to use a fire. They used beech wood and I guess the smoke and the fire from that gave it that smoky taste. And again, people liked it, so they kept doing it that way. So here at Brauerie Spezial, I got the famous Bomberg pork shoulder. Mm. It's not something I normally order, but something traditional from here. It's really good. You can really taste all the flavors in there. And I would definitely recommend getting this. It goes wonderful with their Rauch beer. So when we travel here, Becca and I normally split a dish, but in Bomberg, almost all the food is meat. And because Becca's a vegetarian, she won't eat it. I decided to try it here with the roasted pork. And that's one of the great things about traveling with another YouTuber. We have Ben from Near From Home here. Cheers. <laughs> Happy to be of service. Over on my side, we went with the Schwetzkin Baumes, a dried cured pork dish that, frankly, it's gonna go incredibly well with the smoky beer and it will complement your hot meat dish with my cold meat dish. However, we should see how it tastes, right? That is fantastic. I mean, pork and smoke, what more could you ask for? Now we should try it. And if you're not subscribed to Near From Home, make sure to go do that right now. We have the link in the description below. Ben and Camille have an amazing travel channel that take you on a bunch of quirky and unusual day trips around Munich, as well as the rest of Bavaria, Germany, and the world. They also explore a bunch of unique local festivals that you won't find anywhere else on YouTube, as well as a bunch of other travels. So go subscribe to their channel right now so you won't miss a single one of their videos. Now, let's get back to Bomberg. While not a Bomberg brewery that you can use one of the vouchers in, we hiked up to the nearby Altenburg Castle, which surrounds a beer garden. If you wanna know more about this, as well as other things to do in Bomberg, make sure to check out our other Bomberg video right here, so you'll know what to do when you visit. Now, to find some more beer. We are on our way to Posterboard. It's the oldest brewery in the city of Bomberg, and we're gonna see what kind of beers they have. So we're here at Klosterbräu, the oldest brewery here in Bamberg, and I got the Schwertzla. So it's a dark beer. There's a little bit of a chocolatey smell on it. Ooh, that's really good. It's not super heavy at all. It's actually really light, very flavorful, but goes down super smooth. Definitely recommend getting this. It doesn't have that smoky taste at all, but it's really good, very flavorful. And like I said, for a dark beer, it goes down really smooth. While we've used up quite a few of our beer vouchers, we still have to cash in our voucher for the Rauk Beer Chocolate Truffles. All right, so I got the free Rauk Beer Truffle, the smoked beer truffle with the voucher from the beer pack. Nice and small with a little white chocolate or something on top. Let's see how they are. It's pretty good, it kind of tastes like a truffle. A little bit of cherry or something on the inside, but compared to the Rauk Beer and the smoked beer, I don't really taste any of the smoked beer, so 
Oh, mm. there's a hint of it a little bit in the aftertaste, but it's not overly smoky like the beer itself. So we couldn't come to Bomberg without going to a beer museum. So we're gonna head into the Franconian Beer Museum to learn all about the brewing process as well as the history of beer here in Bomberg. Well, the Franconian Beer Museum was packed full of history as well as a ton of historic brewing equipment that encompassed everything from starting as a grain all the way until it's turned into beer and it hits your glass. However, the museum was definitely a little bit light on the information, especially if you don't speak German well like us. But as a former brewery tour guide, it was really cool to see all the historic brewing equipment and how it was used from way back when Bomberg was first becoming a brewing capital all the way until now. It's definitely a stop you have to make when you're in Bomberg for beer. And finally, it was time for the most famous beer stop in all of Bomberg. We're about to go into our last stop for our breweries. It's called Schlenkela Brewery. It's the most famous smoke beer here in Bomberg, and we're really excited to try it and see how it holds up against the rest. While we reserved a table, it's absolutely fine to just go in, grab a beer, and stand outside with it. However, do check out the inside. In all its half-timbered glory, it was super charming and filled with the exact ambiance you want when visiting Germany. Legend even has it that the ceiling timbers were originally painted with ox blood to preserve them and that's where they got their dark, rich color from and it really makes this place feel comforting. So we are finally at Schlenkerla, perhaps the most famous place in Bomberg to get the Rauch beer or the smoke beer. So I'm gonna give it a go. I forgot to smell it first, but it's definitely smoky and it has the aroma of that. It hits right on the nose, and then when it goes down, it's not too strong, but again, just like the other ones, it came back up a little bit as you breathe out. It's good, it's smooth, but it definitely doesn't taste too strong, but the beechwood fire that they use to roast the malt really gives it a unique taste, and it's definitely something you must try when you're here in Bomberg. traditional Franconian dish of the roasted stuffed onion, stuffed with some sausage and then just an onion hollowed out here. That's really good. The inside it actually reminds me of something my great aunt used to have, some sort of sausage that's it's really good and then the onion really complements it well on the outside. Just those two flavors go super well together. One more beer here at Schlenkerla. It is a Rauch beer, but a Weiss beer as well. So we're gonna give it a go. It smells exactly just like a Weiss beer. I don't get any smoky notes, which is different from the other ones we smelled and tasted here. I taste maybe a small hint of smoke, but nothing coming through the nose or anything afterwards. It's more like a richer, Vice beer with a few extra flavors, but you get those banana notes, a little bit of that fruit, that wheat, but really nothing else. It still has the bite of the vice beer, but really no smoke at all. So actually a bit of a surprise here in Bomberg. Now while we're done with our beer vouchers, I actually decided to get one more, not with a voucher, but for two euros from our hotel vending machine here in Bomberg. It is a Riesman Broy Heron Pils. So we're gonna give it a go and see how it is. Oh, that's really good. I love a great German Pils. It has a little bit of a hot bite, but overall slightly fruity, very slightly, but also smooth, crisp, it's delicious. It has just a little bit more hot bite than that Hell's before and another great Bomberg beer. So with our very last voucher here on the Bomberg Brewery Trail, we are gonna head into the tourist information office and get our beer stein. For 28 euros, the four beers, Rauch Beer Chocolate Truffles and the beer stein definitely made the Bomberg Beer Trail worth it in our eyes. So make sure to stop into the tourist office for yourself when you visit Bomberg. 
So that is gonna complete our Bomberg beer tour and it wouldn't have been complete without our friends Ben and Camille from Near From Home with us. So make sure to like and subscribe to their channel and we'll see you over at our other videos. Bye.